What's going on people, major players in the building, it's your boy Greasy and I'm here today, shout out to the major players, my boy Face, my boy Gully, uh, major news, I'm back again this week, um, I had to do it on Saturday, uh, I had to um, release it on Saturday because I wasn't able to release it uh, Friday this week, but usually what I do is, every Friday I release all the news that I compiled in the week and pretty much present it to you guys get you guys up to date with what's going on yeah man this week's been a bit slow to be fair um the only big news we've had is xbox or microsoft acquiring um activision and blizzard but um pretty much uh really with a situation like this it's mainly speculation until you know the people in charge the people that know how can come out and actually say what's actually happening what the game plans are but you know like even our last um podcast we enjoyed the the conversation that we had so pretty much um that's the biggest news that's come out this week but there have been little add-ons to that you know people have been making their turkey sandwiches out of the turkey uh, so with a situation like this i will basically start off this news with Sony expects Microsoft to continue to ensure Activision games stay multi-platform, right? So basically, uh, if you didn't know, Phil already, before this came out, uh, this statement from Sony came out, Phil had already said, yeah, we're not going to, you know, take Call of Duty away from all the multi-plat areas. Like, we're not going to do that. But obviously... Um, sony their 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 statement they came out and they said listen uh sony responded to microsoft's blog post a proposal to buy activision with a comment on what might on what that might mean for the future of games like call of duty on playstation consoles and they said quoting we expect that microsoft will abide by contractual agreements and continue to ensure activision games are multi-platform a spokesperson uh, tells the Wall Street Journal uh, that statement's wording is less than definitive it's not surprising that Sony would expect Microsoft to honor any existing contractual agreements regarding PlayStation games as it did with PlayStation 5 console exclusive Deathloop which was released uh, after uh, Microsoft's acquisition of publisher Bethesda Softworks once existing agreements expire, it opens the door for Microsoft to pursue, pursue sorry, exclusivity for the many franchises it's acquiring. So basically what they're saying is, Sony's saying, guys, at the end of the day, we still got contracts. We still got stuff that we would hope you guys in good faith would uphold. So, you know, um, obviously that was their official statement, you know, and Phil going on to news part two so that was news part one phil has responded to that so i'll say this is part two of that phil has responded and basically he has said he tweeted i had good calls this week with leaders at sony i confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon acquisition of activision blizzard and our desire to keep call of duty on playstation Sony is an important part of our industry and we value our relationship. So he is making sure that there is no if buts or maybes about this situation. Uh, so, you know, it's just one of those things we have to, you know, we have to we have to respect contracts and stuff that has been in place before we jumped in. So, you know, and I believe Phil is a good enough person to honor those situations really and yeah man um there's also this other one this other news as well uh battlefield 2042 could cause the entire series to go free to play ea is reportedly looking at all options after the game's poor performance and if i'm being honest i can see why because that game i'm sorry was trash on release i'm so sorry i don't know how it is now uh, because i never bought the game i played the beta and i just saw people complaining that there were no 
real improvements from the beta so i said i am not spending my money and the boys agreed so you know a situation like this i'm sorry like this i i can see why you know the game was literally poor yeah man so i don't blame them uh if it does go free to play you know they might make money from microtransactions and things of that nature it will become a live service because right now they're doing well with um apex uh on the respawn side of the game they're doing they're doing well with the apex uh income and the apex stability so i don't see why they can't do that with battlefield call of duty are doing well with warzone so i don't see why battlefield can't you know take a page out of their book and just straight you know expand on that pretty much but yeah man it was it was a, it was a, it was a quiet week this week um you know the, the the main topics this week have all been surrounding microsoft buying and you know owning now activision blizzard so you know the rest of the news this week it hasn't really been news it's more been um you know certain games are coming out on certain platforms and things of that nature this week has been quite slow there but that battlefield one i had to speak on that because um it's big enough uh, to whereby there are a lot of players who will be speculating that this will go free to play uh mainly because it was one of the worst releases last year you know and it's a huge game you know and people were riding on this game to be you know the cod vanguard killer so to speak which did not even happen i don't think it was even close uh, call of duty uh, by popularity destroyed battlefield unfortunately but um yeah man even halo and then halo was thrown in the mix so yeah man yeah it was it was bad it was bad as you already know what i do i compile news in the week and i bring it to you at the weekend usually it's fridays but today i had to release it on saturday but yeah man for more news and for more coverage on things be sure to check into major news it's your boy greasy and i'm signing out